Welcome to Project Serum, where we are committed to helping you learn more about the foundations of decentralized finance and blockchain technology. Remember to click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications to follow us for all things DeFi and to learn more about Project Serum's faster, cheaper, more powerful decentralized exchange. This video is the first in our series that will cover the history, definition, functionality, and other details of the Central Limit Order Book, or CLOB. But before we fully explain the history and functionality of a Central Limit Order Book, it is crucial first to establish some background information, namely what market liquidity and price discovery mean, and the vital role both play in a financial market. Market liquidity, or ML, describes the trading capacity of a financial market, such as a stock market or crypto exchange. In other words, ML suggests the extent to which assets can be bought or sold within a market, i.e., does the market provide stable prices in line with market demands? Despite the fact that market liquidity and price discovery are two distinct trading terms, the latter is dependent on the former. Market liquidity refers to the availability of exchangeable assets, suggesting that a token or related digital asset is readily available and may be quickly converted into cash or other digital assets. As a result, market liquidity is proportional to the capital provided by liquidity providers, or LPs. Price discovery, or PD, on the other hand, is a mechanism that tracks and analyzes the history of buyer-seller interactions and then uses that information to determine or maybe set market prices based on real-time feedback. That said, the relationship between market liquidity and price discovery lies in the historical data recorded by the market. The exchange's price discovery relies on the recorded last price that was traded at regular time intervals, giving a real-time market price. Because of this, the record is influenced by the liquidity available on the order book. This also means that an improvement in liquidity increases an exchange's ability to keep up with market demands and therefore provide a more truthful record of historical price discovery. As such, price discovery cannot work effectively in the absence of market liquidity. While market liquidity and price discovery play important roles in a financial market, they are negatively affected by the risk of market fragmentation. For those unfamiliar with the phrase market fragmentation, let's just say that it's the opposite of efficient. Take the example of a single assembly line that makes it easier and more efficient to build standardized vehicles. Market fragmentation would divide the production of separate parts of the vehicles into different factories, duplicating the operational overhead and making it harder to build each vehicle. In financial markets, market segmentation is generally not great for price discovery either, as it divides the trading activity, also known as liquidity, into smaller separate buckets. Price discovery would be more efficient if all trading activity, also known as liquidity, was happening in one larger, deeper bucket. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we'll take a look at the history and full definition of CLOB. We hope you'll join us to learn more.